Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. IPv4 and IPv6 will coexist for a long time. Many techniques were developed to handle this transition. These techniques can be summarized into three categories: dual stack, tunneling, and translation. Today, my topic is translation with NAT64. Network address translation or NAT is a familiar method in IPv4. NAT is commonly used to translate between private IPv4 address and a public IPv4 address. NAT64 provides a translation between IPv6 only networks and IPv4 only networks. There are three components to NAT64. One, NAT64 prefix. The NAT64 prefix can be a network-specific prefix, or NSP, or a well-known prefix, or WKP. An NSP is assigned or determined by an organization. The WKP for NAT64 is 64 colon FF9B colon colon slash 96. Two, DNS64 server. The DNS64 server is a key component in this process. It is a DNS server for both IPv6 and IPv4. Three, NAT64 router. The NAT64 router advertises the NAT64 prefix into IPv6 only network and performs the translation between the IPv6 only networks and IPv4 only networks. Let's look at an example. In order to simplify the process, or just for the sake of learning. I purposely make IPv6 address much shorter, and for IPv4 addresses, I use a private and a simple address. Here, we only focus on the process of network address translation between IPv4 and IPv6. So I don't want long and complicated IP addresses are in our way. Now let's start. Host A is an IPv6 only device that wants to communicate with the server, example.com, on an IPv4 only network. And this is the most common scenario for the use of NAT64. Step one: Host A contacts the DNS64 server first. Asking for IPv6 address for the server example.com. Step two: Suppose DNS64 server has no such record, then it will ask IPv6 DNS server. The IPv6 DNS server replies, "I could not find IPv6 address of example.com." But I can ask for its IPv4 address, and that is the step three. IPv4 DNS server on the right side replies with IPv4 address of example.com. For example, it is 10.10.10.10. Again, I try to make this IP address ridiculously simple and private. And this is step four. Then this address is forwarded to the DNS64 server, and this is step five. Then the DNS64 server makes a NAT64 address for example.com server by prefixing 64 colon ff9b colon colon 96. To the IPv4 address in hexadecimal numbers, 0A0A colon 0A0A, which altogether the NAT64 
64 address for example.com is 64 colon ff9b colon colon 080a colon 080a. It sounds quite complicated simply because any IPVC address is long and complicated. Step 7 DS64 server gives this address to host A. Step 8 Host A uses this address as a destination IPv6 address to example.com. Step 9 The NAT64 router translates between the IPv6 and IPv4 header. After the NAT64 translation, the translated IPv4 packet is forwarded to example.com. That's step 10. Step 11. The example.com server replies to NAT64 router with IPv4 packet. Then the NAT64 router translate IPv4 packet into IPv6 packet. That's the step 12. After the translation, the IPv6 packet is forwarded to host A. A round trip is made, and this is the last step. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.